Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what midazolam is, the history of midazolam, how midazolam works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, midazolam nasal is a benzodiazepine used as a short-term rapid onset treatment for acute repetitive seizures in patients 12 years of age and older. It is used as an emergency medication to stop seizure clusters. Benzodiazepines work as central nervous system depressants, suppressing abnormal overactivity in the brain. Midazolam nasal is sold under the brand name Nasolim and is only available with a doctor's prescription. It comes as a spray to be inhaled up the nasal passages and is meant to be carried at all times in case of emergency use. Midazolam was patented by Hoffman LaRoche in 1976. The drug was created for an intended intravenous use as an anesthetic for conscious sedation or as an adjunct for general anesthesia. It also plays multiple roles, such as a GABA receptor agonist, an anticonvulsant, a sedative, and central nervous system depressant. Midazolam nasal was approved by the FDA to treat seizures in May of 2019. Midazolam nasal is a benzodiazepine. Its exact mechanism of action is not fully understood but it appears to suppress or stop seizures via GABA receptors in the brain. According to the National Library of Medicine, all the pharmacological effects of midazolam can be explained through action on GABA receptors. Two separate receptors for GABA and benzodiazepine in the brain couple to a common chloride channel, which increases the frequency of the channel opening. The binding to these receptors hyperpolarize the membrane and thereby cause neuronal inhibition. The anticonvulsant activity of midazolam is related to the excess GABA action in the motor-related parts of the brain. The Mayo Clinic lists the following as side effects for midazolam nasal. See your doctor immediately if you have any of the following. Agitation, combativeness, irritability blurred vision, blindness, decreased vision or eye pain, difficulty sleeping, difficulty breathing or irregular, fast, slow or shallow breathing, dizziness, feeling sad or empty, headache, jerking or shaking, lack of appetite, lightheadedness or loss of interest or pleasure. Continuing side effects, pale or blue lips, skin, fingernails, restlessness, seeing, hearing, feeling things that are not there, tearing, suicidal thoughts or attempts, trouble concentrating, sitting still or sleeping, unusual drowsiness, dullness, tiredness, weakness or sluggishness, mood changes, muscle tremor, and nausea. Side effects that do not need medical attention nasal discomfort, abnormal taste, changes in patterns and rhythm of speech, headache, runny nose, slurred speech, throat irritation, and trouble speaking. Midazolam nasal may cause overdose. Get emergency help if any signs of overdose occur. Confusion, drowsiness, lack of coordination, unconsciousness, relaxed and calm feeling, sleepiness. The National Library of Medicine advises the following. 
in case of overdose, call the Poison Control Helpline at 1-800-222-1222. Information is also available online at www.poisonhelp.org help. If the victim has collapsed, had a seizure, has trouble breathing, or can't be awakened, immediately call emergency services at 911. The Mayo Clinic states the following precautions among others. It is very important that a doctor check the patient's progress while using this medicine to ensure its proper use and check for adverse side effects. This medicine may be habit forming. If you feel the medicine is not working, do not take more than the prescribed dose and check with your doctor. Do not change the dosage or suddenly stop use. Your doctor may want to gradually decrease the dosage to prevent withdrawal or worsening of seizures. Midazolam nasal may cause overdose. Call your doctor right away if you notice any of the symptoms previously listed. Midazolam may cause respiratory depression that can be life-threatening, especially when used with narcotic pain medications. Tell your doctor if you are using medicines like codeine, fentanyl, hydrocodone, morphine, or oxymorphine. This medicine is a central nervous system depressant which slows down your nervous system and makes you less alert. Check with your doctor before using other central nervous system depressants like antihistamines, medicines for hay fever, allergies, sleeping medicine or colds, sedatives, tranquilizers, anesthetics, seizure medications, pain medications or other barbiturates. Talk to your doctor about eating or drinking grapefruit while on this medication. In conclusion, my dad's the lamb nasal is a benzodiazepine that can be used as an emergency medicine to treat cluster seizures. It is taken as a spray through the nasal passages. Let your physician know of any side effects you experience while taking midazolam. Consult with your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. To learn more about midazolam, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.